Hey there, Tammy C. Walker. Today I want to talk about why do we take each other for granted? I think this is a topic that will resonate with you and you and you and me because we all are guilty of it and it's been done to all of us. Why do we do these things? Remember the song Fantasia had? It's like my favorite song. Oh my God, I so love that song. And she said, um, Lately you don't pay me no mind. You act like you don't even love me no more. And maybe we can space out some time. Your attitude is unpredictable. But I'm going to skip all that. And she said, If you talk to me. What she tell them? Go ahead and free yourself. So I want you all to watch my video. It's not just about relationships. It's about people in general who keep taking each other for granted. And I want to talk about why we do it. And I also want to talk about how to not do it. Buying something you cannot afford to pay for. Tap into it. Thank you for joining me, Tammy C. Walker here. And before I get started, hit that like button. That helps circulate my videos for other viewers. Also, please subscribe to my channel. My channel is all about encouragement, trying to bring a little light to this crazy, crazy world. We're dealing with impeachment, um, marijuana being legalized, gun control, a lot of negativity is being shoved down our throat. It's really good to tune into YouTube videos that keep you inspired, maybe make you think and perhaps check yourself on some things you're guilty of doing or things that have been done to you. Don't feel bad though. Whatever happens to you is all a part of the big plan. And all of these trials and tribulations, they are powerful and impacting. It's what makes you who you are and it's all good. So anyhow, so let's talk about why do people take uh, us for granted? And I wrote down some notes. I'm going to be referring to them. And I'm going to also tell you how to not take others for granted. So um, one reason why people do take each other for granted is absence breeds intrigue. Many times, as long as someone is in your face, they're present, they're good to you, you take them for granted. Oh, that's just... Brenda, she loves me. Oh, that's Michael. He'll always be around. And once that person is no longer around, you realize what a beauty and a jewel that that person was. So we have to be very careful of that. It, I did it. I was 16 years old. I was dating this real cute guy. He's so cute, you all. He was a little bit older than myself. And he was so nice, like overly nice. And his mother, I didn't care for his mother. So I was fishy about her. This young guy was a senior in high school. He worked at the post office um, with my mom. He worked in our caf in their cafeteria. And his mom would take his whole check. And I just was like, what mom takes the whole check from a 17-year-old? And I did kind of mention it to him, you know, some type of way. I was like, that doesn't sound right. I'm always, I was always for fighting for injustice. And if I feel someone is being done wrong, I'll speak up, which... Probably wasn't a good idea then because I'm sure he ran into his mother. Nevertheless, he just was too nice if there's such a thing. And I consider myself to be a nice person. But if a guy is a pushover, then I will maybe, especially as a 16-year-old, I was um, like kind of running him over, long story short. So eventually, the guy stopped coming to my house. And one day I cut school, never cut school, day in my life, except one other time with my sister. And I went to his house, he had a big hickey on his neck. I knew I hadn't been around him for weeks, so it wasn't for me. Come to find out, he was running around with this real kind of nerdy looking freshman. And I'm like, why would he be with her over me? I'm a junior. But you know, I'm thinking I'm all in my feelings, my ego is pumped up, and I'm thinking like I'm an upperclassman, he should want to be with me. Well, I was being very mean to him and I was being um, just pushing. I was just being aggressive and running over him. And I'm sure the freshman was much more nicer. So I had it coming. 
Of course, he came back. You all, by that point, I had a new boyfriend. Anyway, absence breeds intrigue. So we we take advantage of others because we think they'll always be around. I wish I could talk to my mother today. I wish. My mother passed away in March of 2012. I would pay a billion dollars to talk to either one of my parents. My dad passed away in, in 1999, sorry, 20 years ago, to have a conversation with my dad now to talk about the bears and the bulls here in Chicago, for my dad to pull out the Christmas tree, for to eat my dad's cooking. My dad was a phenomenal cook. To be with my mom so we could laugh and talk and maybe catch a concert or something. You know, I, I would pay money to be with my parents. We take people for granted because we feel they're gonna be here forever. Time is slipping away, people. We don't have much time. I'm not trying to sound morbid because I don't like to say, world's coming to end, all this stuff. But I just don't want you to waste your time on things that don't matter. Spend your time with people that love you and want to be loved and show you good things. Don't be spending your time with people that are abusing you and putting you down. It's a waste of energy and time and time is space. And you don't know how much more time you do have on this earth. Also, oh my God, I cannot read my own writing. Um, we don't understand how important people are until we get blocked, until we they ghost us, you know. We feel like they're going to be around forever. Perhaps we feel that people are replaceable. And I don't feel that way. I feel like when you're matched up with someone and you really gel with them, it's a blessing and an honor. And if you have a lot in common and if you enjoy each other, company make it work yeah you can go get a replacement but it's not going to be that person so i think we just we just take people for granted and it's just a, a darn shame it really is be kinder to each other and and enjoy the people that you love and don't take them for granted because you don't know when their time is up or yours number two often people that love us we take them for granted because that's just mom. She loves me. I can screw up my money and go to mom. Mom's going to bail me out. Well, mom gets tired too. Mom is a retiree. Maybe she's tired of you. Stop using people that love you and taking them for granted because you know they love you. Employers, stop paying people pennies and you know you have the budget to pay them money so they can provide food for their family. Employers take advantage of good employees because they feel like they need a job. They're not going anywhere else. Let me tell you all that's watching my video. This is an employee's market. There's a lot of jobs out here. Go update your resume and throw it out there for 2020. Don't let these employers have you thinking that there are that you have. There are options out there and I want you to go and find them. I have two really, really, really good friends that just got hired. They start January 2020. They had good jobs, both of them, and now they have better jobs. So I want you to update your resume and upgrade yourself and go find you a job. Don't let these employers think they got you. Just like landlords, feel like they can do tenants wrong, have crappy um, things in the apartment, old fixtures, old appliances, you know, don't come and fix anything. Go find you a new place to live because I'm not spending $900,000 to live in crap. And that's considered cheap outside of Chicago. I'm not doing it. Go and find you a better place to live. Your landlord needs to be called to the carpet. Just like they don't like bad tenants, we don't like bad landlords. Don't let people take you for granted. Stand up for yourself. Number three. Some people take others for granted because they're abusers. They're used to treating people bad and getting away with it and don't stand for it. Some are narcissistic. They think it's all about them, so they don't care about you. Again, we have to set up boundaries and spot out those type of people. Don't let abusive managers, abusive husbands, wives, your kids abuse you, your family members. Say no and put up boundaries. Now I'm going to flip the script and talk about how we can stop taking others for granted. Number one, when you love someone, friend or family, whatever, show up and be present at your dinner date. Be present on the phone. If you're on the phone with someone and you're in the middle of something, don't answer the, the phone. Don't keep, you know, fade now. You could tell, you could tell people not listening to you. It's a waste of time. So be present as much as you can be. None of us are perfect. 
but try to be present. I, I went to a dinner years ago with a dear friend, and this person stayed on their phone the whole dinner. Now, if it was 2020, 2019, I would get up and leave. I almost wanted to leave then, but this was years ago, and Facebook was blowing up, and they were just addicted, just liking and looking, and all, you know, all the while we were at a dinner. And I just thought that was so rude. Don't do that. You see couples at dinner, and they're in their phone. Nobody's, you know, here. <laughs> you know, come on. We could do better. We got to do better. I'm addicted to my phone, too, within reason. Um, but I hope I don't do that to my friends. I really try to keep it tucked away when I'm out with friends or family. Number two, show love. I saved that for number one. But also, I want to say, um, don't be mean. <laughs> if you don't want to be in a relationship with someone. Don't be mean. I know some people do this tactic. All of a sudden, they'll switch like a light switch. And that beautiful, gracious person that you were once with, they become kind of mean. Instead of opening their mouth and saying, hey, this isn't for me. I'm in a new place in my life. They all mistreat you. And that goes back to that Fantasia song. If you don't want me, then don't talk to me. One thing about me, the Virgo, if you don't want me in your life, I'll do you one better. I'm out. Because I know God did not create me 49 years ago to be a burden, to be a pest, for you to mistreat me. You can just tell me I'll be out. I'll bounce. Because being alone is not the end of the world. I live a full life. It's not perfect. And there's some things I want. And I want it to change. But I could come home turn on my bulls, I can fix my food, I can read my books, I can get on my phone and talk to people, I can study for my LSW, I can do my YouTube videos, um, I can journal, I have adult coloring books, I mean, I have so much stuff, I can do exercise equipment in here, I can do my laundry, I can throw dishes in my dishwasher or hand wash my dishes, paint my nails, I mean, I can just stand here and rattle off so many things to you. I, I'm happy with my life, so uh, you don't have to have me in your life to mistreat me. I'll bow out gracefully, promise you I will. And last but not least, just communicate again. If you're not happy, tell the person you're not happy. Don't uh, mistreat them. Communication goes a long way. This is for family. You know, don't, don't take advantage of your family member because you know they have your back. Don't do that to them because everybody has that threshold. And when people stop answering your calls or stop showing up for holidays, you'll know why. And same again with the employers. Communicate to your employee. If they're not doing a good job, tell them. Don't fire them without retraining. That happened to somebody I know. Got fired. You know, maybe retrain the person. Did you have to fire them? You know, um, lover, boyfriend, wife, partner, again. Don't take them for granted because everybody have that threshold. And when they get tired, trust me, Chili said it about Usher. Chili, the singer from TLC, she said there'll never be another Chili and Usher. Some people, once you break up, you'll never get back in their graces, ever. So don't take people for granted. Everybody has that threshold. Same with your kids. Don't take your parents for granted. Don't push them into a corner but they don't want to talk to you anymore or your parents start disowning you. People do this because kids, adult kids, they just, and teens and young kids, they run out. They do too much because they know mom and dad love them. Mom and dad have feelings too. Don't back people into a corner. Have you seen a cat? If you try to keep coming at a cat and back them into a corner, they're going to scratch your eyes out. We all have claws and we can scratch your eyes out. Tammy C. Walker. This is a rattling video about taking people for granted, but it's something that's near and dear to me. I feel like it happens often. I've done it. So maybe for 2020, let's not. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.